It's non-stop bloody Mardi Gras here, you know. It is, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. Dave's delighted. Go on then. I mean, go on then. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, and once again, welcome to Let's Explore. My name is Steve. Right then, making a little video, a little moot. I know what you can see. You can see the, the top of a shovel, the handle of a shovel sticking out of my backpack. All will be revealed, but first things first, I'm with my buddy, delighted Dave. Hello. There. <laughs> Do you know what? He got recognised yesterday. It was going down the co-op and someone shouted, Hey, delighted Dave out the car window. He about fit himself. And of course, we've got Dave's good friend here, Adam, who's got his back to the camera. I don't know why, because he's handsome, Adam. There you go. Why do we call him handsome? Why do we call no him idea. handsome? Because he's, he's, he's handsome, ain't he? That's why we call him that. <laughs> anyway, Jesus Christ, he says. Anyway, like I say... Gordon Bennett's the word. Gordon, Gordon Bennett. Bennett. You heard it here first. Right then, we've got some... <laughs> right, so we've got some unfinished business uh, down at Oak Fort Colliery. Let's, let's take the video a little bit seriously. Because last time I come down here, a few weeks ago, I made a video. Uh, we're at Willersley Basin near there. That's where the colliery used to be. And I come down here on my other half, uh, Vanessa and my kids, bless them. And we found some interesting concrete structures and a few bits and bobs in this undergrowth over here. So we're going to go and have a little nose and I know what you're thinking why you got that shovel then well I don't know if it's a tunnel or what it is but there's something buried so I'm gonna have a little uh, a little poke around with this mini shovel and have a look but uh, anyway let's get on with it I love out like this Alrighty then, so courtesy once again of Google Earth, we can look at today's exploration from high up above. And as you can see there, where that red dot is marking there, between Donnersthorpe and Ashby de la Zouche, that is the uh, area that we explored today. And this was an amazing exploration. Didn't really expect to, to find what we did, but, you know, it was absolutely brilliant, you know. Three lads out having a laugh. And my old buddy, Indy Andy Jones, is missed out yet again. <laughs> Never mind, we've got plenty of stuff to go and look at, Andy. You know the drill by now. Anyway. Anyway, let's go and look at the, uh, the Ordnance Survey map on the National Library of Scotland. Alrighty then. <laughs> oh, I'm daft and I, never mind me. Uh, I've never been professional, have I? Uh, anyway, once again, courtesy of the National Library of Scotland, what you're looking at here is an Ordnance Survey map dated 1925 of the Oakthorpe Colliery site. And as you can see there, just about, if you've got eagle eyes, it does say there that the colliery is disused. So in 1925, it would have been disused. Um, there's been an actual colliery here since I think the 17th century, uh, on and off. But then, of course, after 1925, I can't remember the date now for the life of me, it did open up again and uh, it was used up until 1990. Uh, and at the top there, it says Willersley uh, Basin. Now, we explored today between Willersley Basin uh, and the colliery itself. I didn't go and look at the shafts, which are still there. They are marked off because uh, I went up there a couple of weeks ago, if you remember, and made a video. Anyway, it's very interesting, this one. So let's, let me get on with it and stop jibber-jabbering. Come on, let's go and have a nose there. Right then, so a few weeks back, I come and did a video around here, uh, up and around Willersley Basin in uh, the former Willersley Hall that once was. And uh, we walked through, <laughs> through that culvert there. And there's one here that goes to a lake. We're not going in there today. Uh, you've seen enough of culverts, haven't you, just recently. But uh, if you was to follow this one up there, there would be a gate on the, the end of the pipe. I've seen the end of it. But... I missed some very interesting stuff around here last time I came, and like I say, I only discovered it when I was out down here with my kids. Hey, up and bring... <laughs> bringing the undergrowth with me. Not got my boots on. Not got very good grip. But there's some interesting stuff around here, and of course, just behind me. Hey, up, oh, I'm slipping. Got no tread, like I say. Should have put my boots on. My feet were a bit sore, to be honest. So this site that we're on that is now a beautiful nature reserve just over there used to be oak fort colliery that uh, was disused by 1990 just look here look got concrete plinth there very interesting now there's a number of these that i assume were connected to the to the colliery once of course these are 20th century because of the, the concrete structures and i'm wondering if there was once a conveyor belt fitted to these because there's a bit of a tunnel up there that we're going to have a look at shortly but I absolutely love this bloody uh, gallivanting about all over the hockey and the undergrowth. I really do. So, right, let's get up here in this undergrowth. Dave and Adam, they're up there somewhere getting excited <laughs> about the structures and what have you. So, <laughs> so oh, I love this. I should have put my Wellingtons on, but to be honest with you, I've got, uh, I've got sore feet at the minute. 
been weighing them a lot just lately. They do me heading to be honest. But all right, it's whatever prod about. Right, so what's quite interesting, I don't know if I mentioned this in the last clip, but there is some sort of tunnel up here. Now me and Adam have just been looking at the, the culvert that I went in two or three weeks back, just showing him that. And Dave says that these concrete plimps that are just over here, I'll show you some more in a minute. Um, he does agree with me on it, but we do think that that is some sort of old conveyor belt that goes under a, a tunnel made of concrete. But uh, we'll have a look, but it's a, it's a beautiful nature reserve, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. It's really nice down here. Fantastic. But of course, we're near the old Willersley Basin, and, and of course, the, the Ticknell Tramway actually terminated just up here. So, we'll have a look. Right, here's some of these plimps. Let's show you these. Right, so what you're looking at there is a bit of a valley, a bit of a drop off. Now this side here, that is the former Ashby Delazouche Canal embankment. But if I just turn the camera around, look what we've got here. You've got these series of concrete plimps. Now, as I just said, I think, I think, and I think Dave's right as well, that this used to be uh, a conveyor belt. In fact, what's this down here? Bit of metal here on top of this one. So yeah, that might, might have been some sort of plate for it, metal plate on top of a plinth. But it's quite interesting because this, this particular concrete plinth here is lower than these. Now, I might be wrong, it might not be a conveyor belt, but it's interesting that there's a tunnel up there. But yeah, fascinating. You've still got some of the, where whatever would have been on here was bolted to look. So, it's interesting, isn't it? You know, I mean, how many people walk on that path up there and on the path down here and never really notice this? You know, this is why I like making these videos. I'm not an historian and I'm certainly not an expert, but I have a laugh and I have fun showing you this stuff. And as you can see here, we've got a pile of brickwork next to what we think used to be a conveyor belt. Now, like I said to you earlier, this may have been something to do with Willersley Basin because the canal is just over there. Well, it, it once was there. Of course, the Ashby de la Zouche Canal is pretty much intact throughout the majority of its length, but in this area, it's not because they had problems with uh, subsidence because of the mining round here. But yeah, we do indeed have old bricks here, grown over with moss. So there was a building in this vicinity once here. These look like very old bricks. I'd say that these predate these concrete stanchions. So again, these wonderful old stanchions carry on up there to something very interesting that I'm going to show you very shortly. And again, more evidence of a building here. Now this could have well been some sort of engine room for this potential um, conveyor belt to my right here. But I was looking earlier for any signs of writing on these bricks. And I mean, you know, concrete here, maybe part of a former concrete roof. I don't know, a bit of an intact wall there. So, in fact, what's that up there? I love these explorers. Do you know what? These are my favourite ones to do, if I'm honest with you. In the undergrowth, in the Andy Jones in it and all that. In me running trainers, because, you know, you don't wear wellies when you, you're supposed to, do you? So, yeah. Interesting bit of concrete there. Oh, got some cabling here. Right, this is interesting. This is very interesting that this uh, cabling is here. Right then, so maybe some sort of winding engine here then, do we think? where this building was. Fascinating, makes you think, don't it? Yeah, again, here as well. These look like uh, winding engine cables, these do. Might be wrong. That's very interesting. But of course, down there, we do have those uh, still in situ concrete plimps. Never been a metal just poking out there. Very interesting, right. Right then, so these do, of course, carry on through the undergrowth there. I would say, like I say, I can't think of anything else that these could have been used for. Hopefully, somebody will watch this video who hopefully worked at Oak Fork Colliery because it closed in 1990. So hopefully someone will watch this and know what I'm banging on about. Do you know what I mean? And probably put me right if I'm wrong. But I love this. I love getting out and doing this type of thing. And uh, it's not hammering it down and rain at the minute. I was kind of expecting that today, but fortunately... Apart from the odd bit of drizzle, it stayed away. But, uh, right, we'll get through here. 
and show you what I think is a tunnel. I might have to dig a little bit of it out so we can see in it. That's why I've got my mini shovel there. Right, I can hear something going on over there. Delighted Dave, he's found some. I can hear some bloody branches cracking and all sorts. So let's go and see what he's up to. I told you he'd be up here. He's got his torch out. What we found, Dave? Two tunnels. I think we're right with our theory. I think there was a, a conveyor belt, but you know, the view look <laughs> like a rabbit look. Who needs a boring machine when you've got Dave? I'll tell you what. What do you reckon? How far's it go, Dave? Um, to me, I know what this is. Go on, what is it? A tunnel. No, this is a loader for the conveyor belt. Ah, like a hopper? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you lay down here, Steve, and have a look. And that's what those flats are on the top, then, Dave. Oh. No. Just under the ground there, there's like that's a V-shape. That's where that top. I'm going to get shit up. So that's where they loaded the conveyor belt up. Right. Oh, the things you do, eh, for this channel. Right. Wow. Can you see it? Oh, there's a spider web in the way. It's yeah, focusing it's on that. Why they be loading? Oh, loading it from the gravel. Wow. Bed. You tip it in here. Take it down there. Wow, it. look at that. Yeah, there is. It tips in there. That's amazing. And then goes down there. Wowzers. Right, there's only one thing for it. Right, the shovel's coming out. See this shovel? This is the best piece of equipment I own. And Dave is jealous of it. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> I sure am, Steve. <laughs> Now let's see you use it. <laughs> it's about time right. Steve did some hard work, you know. Me, I'm always doing hard work. Go on, my son. Tell you what, it is quite soft as well. I told you, yeah. You'd be in there in no, no, in no time. Leggings look blue boxers. Yeah, very <laughs> sexy, isn't it? <laughs> right, so I've just dug an hole just about big enough to get myself in. Now it does go quite wide down here, you can pretty much stand up in here, but there's indeed a hopper. You can still see the hopper below the ground here. Now we don't know if it was feeding the colliery. I'd imagine it was going out to the road or something, because the main road to Donisthorpe is over there. I'd imagine so, but got lucky here, because this this muck I've just dug out, with my famous little shovel that Dave is desperate to get his hands off. <laughs> hands on, dirty Dave. He's desperate to get it, but we need to get in here now. Right, let's go for a nose there. This is a new one for this channel, isn't it? Right. Wow, it is. It's very interesting this Dave. I know de he's desperate to get in. Right, let me shut up, let me get in. All right, so look at that. What do you reckon to this then? Oh, bloody hell. It's all going wrong with my camera, right. You your in your bag? I have, mate, yeah. Right, look at this. This is interesting, isn't it? This is a new one for the channel. Right, oh. But yeah, my phone, phone keeps bloody. My swivel's going funny on it, right. Oh, we're in. I'm gonna be filthy by the time I get back in the bloody car. Right. Just look at that then. Was not expecting to come across anything like this today. So there has been a conveyor belt or something here. That's interesting down there. Let's look at that. It's good this is, are you coming in Dave? Here comes Dave. Dave's not missing out on something like this. Right, is this coal here? Is this coal? Hard to tell it looks like it, doesn't it? I know, I think that's stone actually. I'm not, let's have a look. Yeah, this is stone in here. So, yeah, absolutely fascinating. The old power source there, the lighting. Yeah, weren't expecting to see anything like this, ladies and gentlemen. But if you don't have a nut, if, if you don't have a look, you never know, do you? At the end of the day, but this is indeed a hopper. What a thing to come across in the middle of the woods. <laughs> and I will be back filling that hole. I don't want no kids getting down here. It wasn't hard to dig out, to be honest, in the first place. But 
the things we do, eh? Dave's taking photos of me arse hanging out my trousers. Bless him. Right. It's amazing, isn't it, mate? Wow. Hey, there's a bottle here. There's boot, eh? There's stiletto shoes down here. Is Who the hell puts leaves stiletto? In fact, I'm worried now. What else I'm going to find in here? Bloody hell, what's that? Yeah, there's stiletto shoes down here and a, an old bottle. Let's have a... What's that say on it? Can't see any writing on that. It could be a milk bottle, actually. Yeah, look, look at that. Stiletto shoes in there. What's that about? That's weird. Why put them in here? Weird. Let us, on a, let us know on the back of a postcard or something. I ain't got a clue with that one. Yeah, this is fascinating, Dave. Hold on. Brilliant. Shit. Hey, what was that? <laughs> you all right, mate? Yeah, you all right? Yeah. Wow. Adam. Amazing. Yeah. This is a conveyor, conveyor belt, this is. What you seeing, mate? Yeah. Yeah, it, it is a conveyor. So, but we're right, for once. Hallelujah, I was right about something. Yeah, it is a conveyor. It's still got a bit of cloth on. It has, mate, yeah. Amazing. Absolutely wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. That ain't bad, is it, mate? Just look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Dave's in his element down here. Look at that. Fantastic, isn't it? Right, so what do you reckon to this, then? Absolutely incredible. You know, 10 minutes of digging and we're in. You know, real, real soft muck that they've tipped back. I'm going to back fill it because I don't want no kids down here. I shall fill it back in. But yeah, amazing, an old hopper. Definitely something to do with Oak Fork Collier, isn't it, mate? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Sure. But yeah, one of our best little finds. And I've got to thank my missus, really, because it was Vanessa that half spotted it. And if she's watching this, which she will do, she won't tell you, but she loved having a nose up the top here when we found it. So yeah, amazing. Yeah, see, there's even the wrong there is, what's that about? It's weird. Why would you leave stiletto? Unless the miners had a bit of a fetish. You don't know, don't you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> five, five, six, six seven, eight. Yeah, there were stockings down there as well. Really? Oh, no. some, weird, some weird stuff been going on down here. Big time. Have <laughs> so you seen this conveyor roller down here with the adjuster on? No, I didn't see that. I was, yeah. I was looking at them bloody shoes, wasn't I? Right, so look what Dave's just found here. Some fairy liquid. Well, fairy liquid bottle. Just take the torch off it, mate, so I can have my... That's it. Two and a half pence. How old's that? That's got to be mega old, that, isn't it? Well, not mega old, yeah. but it's, it's not Victorian. We know that, don't yeah. we? Wow, like you say, mate, good photo up there, if you stick that on yeah, there. Yeah. Amazing. What else is buried down here? It's bloody hell. So look at that. What's that over there? Wow. Great find, this. Absolutely. Fantastic. What's your honest opinion of what we found, Dave? Oh, this is amazing. This is what we do this for. I mean, I've never seen another picture of this. Have we have to have a look, 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 there's even cloth on the conveyor belt. Yeah, it's we amazing. Have to have a look, a look up at it. <laughs> You've won the lottery, haven't you, Dave? Hope to see you in there, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it was worth digging for, wasn't it? It was easy digging, to be honest with yeah. you. Easy digging. Wow, the old hopper. But these are, this isn't coal here. I was expecting to see coal. Yes, it is coal, but it's just been down here that long. But it still looked the same, wouldn't it, Dave? It wouldn't change. Yeah, th th this, this is... It does look like is... stone, doesn't it? Yeah, just the weight of it. This is stone. Yeah. Right. That's what I thought. It's not light. What you got, oh. buddy? What's that? What you got? I thought it was a... Tin cans. Oh, is it? I thought it was... No, a... there's, there's that and there's another one. Oh, right. Right. Oh. Let's have, hold on. Oh, no, I don't know where that's in there. What the hell's that? Oh, no, no, no. There's another one there, Steve. Wow. That's weird. That's really weird, mate. You can't... Does the top come off? Try and open it while I'm filming. Uh, <laughs> this is where it needs to be an octopus. Yeah. Well, usually when people are from Colville, people say they've got all these extra limbs, don't they? Oh, is it? Is it come... Right. Magnets? Yeah. They are magnets, aren't they? they do, it does look like a magnet. Magnets? What's no, it's page? not sticking, is it? No. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Here they come. 
I enjoyed after, it. <laughs> after two hours, two underground, hours. Two hours. here they oh, come. Got to fill it in now. Oh, I enjoyed that. Here's one, here's Steve. <laughs> I'm shit up, but it don't matter. Because I had a nose there. <laughs> come on, Dave. Here he comes. <laughs> the things they do. Brilliant. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Oh, bloody hell. Brilliant. Here that we come. That was absolutely amazing. What a find. And we got it right. <sighs> Fantastic. Absolutely. Right, so that was absolutely amazing in there, finding that hopper. I mean, there will be something in this undergrowth at the top here. Uh, we'll have a, a little scratch around in there before we go, because I can always knock the undergrowth about with me, uh, <laughs> with me great little shovel here. But I'm going to fill this in, because, you know, kids and what have you come round here. So I'm going to I am going to fill it in, do the right thing. Anyway, let's get on with it. It's non-stop bloody Mardi Gras here, you know. It is, isn't it, Dave? Yeah. Dave's delighted. Go on, then. I mean, go on <laughs> This is when you need your big, your big spade. Yeah. This is. for a Melvin Cobb now after all that 85p that's it that's it not 75 85p but look I've actually filled it in better than what it were when I got here you could see the actual top of the archway so I've actually made a better job right we'll have a little scratch around round here I'm cream crackered now <laughs> right so just there is the entrance to the tunnel that I've now backfilled and this structure here there would have been something here where they were throwing stone or coal down uh, onto that uh, conveyor belt uh, from the top here. But yeah, concrete structure as you can see uh, all around here. I mean, this isn't far from the actual car park down here because this is a nature reserve, but absolutely amazing. And like Dave's just said, you know, we might be the first people to have been in there since they filled it in. Um, or maybe not. I mean, it's not the, like I say, it wasn't difficult to actually oh this is interesting here look yeah i see what you mean dave is this what you're talking about yeah i seen this last time i come down here i forgot about that yeah that's interesting so just over there would have been your hopper maybe there was another one here dave maybe there was another hopper here or the lorry's reversed up here and tipped it into that yes way. yes they could have yeah it might be right there they could have reversed up here and tipped into yeah, this the wow i tell you what indy andy jones has missed out again isn't he yeah. It'll love this one. Well, we weren't expecting it, were we? Some bricks here. Is there any writing on there? Oh, there's some here, look. Look at that. Eh? You will not believe what it says on this brick here. <laughs> well, I weren't expecting that, Dave. These would, these would be known then as uh, safe bricks. <laughs> I've never seen that before. They knew Adam was coming, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I've seen a few bricks in my time, especially since I've been uh, filming these videos. I've never seen a video, well it's, it's the other way around because I'm filming this way, but I've never seen a video, uh, never seen a video, never seen a brick, I'm speechless, that said Jorex on it. I didn't know they made bricks. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Very weird. <laughs> don't know what to make of that, Dave. No, I don't. Delighted, Dave. So, Steve, this is in line with the hopper. So yeah. did, did vehicles come over it, tip it into the hopper? Well, I think you might be right, mate. Because... No, 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 hold on a minute. The, the, the hopper's further back, isn't it? Yeah, it's about 10 metres away from you, there. You could be right. Is this another hopper? Or is that the hopper that we crawled up to? Oh, so that's, that's the hopper. Yeah, so I think then this is the hopper that we crawled up to here. That's it then, I think, isn't it? Yeah, I think Yeah, I reckon yeah, so. We, we, we went that way, didn't we? No, didn't. Did we? I can't remember. Oh, it don't matter. We've had an adventure. <laughs> right, well, unfortunately, that concludes another video. Absolutely fantastic, that was. Really enjoyed that, Dave. You see, Dave's off. He's still exploring. He's like a sniffer dog for this type of thing. But really, really enjoyed that. Absolutely just brilliant. You know, coming across that, digging it out, getting in it. And we knew, we just had an inkling that, that there was a conveyor belt there. 
But, you know, absolutely fantastic that, wasn't it, mate? Yeah, and fairly liquid to an half pence. Yeah, fairly liquid to an half pence. Cheaper than Melvin Cobbs. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share. And we will be seeing you at the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.